welcome to the homestead. Thanks for watching. Just a tiny little project. See what we did. Okay, it rained really hard all day long, so we really didn't do anything. And, uh, but what we did do is some things inside the RV, gathering stuff up, taking summer clothes out of drawers and stuff like that and putting it in the clothes closet. It, it broke in the rain about an hour ago or maybe. And so we kind of looked at everything and there was a lot, a lot of mud right here in front of this garage. This is how Eclipse gets in and out of the garage and it's just mud. So we laid some cardboard, the cardboard we had out there next to the um, shop that we drug up here. It's wet, but it's held together and we've laid it down on the ground and now Lee has gotten some rocks in the wheelbarrow and he's going to pour the rocks all over the cardboard right there in front of the garage. So not only can Eclipse go in and out without being in the mud, we could go in and out without being in the mud as well. And so that's what kind of what we're doing this evening. I don't know, it's going on six o'clock at night, so we don't have a lot of time to take care of this business, but we're gonna do the best we can.
Okay, you remember all that work we did around the mound? Let me show you the mound today after this gigantic rainstorm. You won't believe it. So as you can see, our efforts to make it perfect and level just went down. <laughs> it looked good for a while. We have a lot of excess dirt that has slidden down off the hill, which we kind of knew it would happen because it was so dry. And uh, so we're going to have to come around and clean up the edges, get them into the holes around the actual storm shelters. And uh, there are several places where we can see but also the ground is kind of lower right at the base of the storm shelters, the back of the storm shelters where all the dirt's piled up. So apparently when we were cleaning things up and making everything nice and level, we didn't, we made uh, dips. And so now it's just kind of muddy around there. So that didn't work out as perfect as we wanted it, but it is fixable. Also over in the section uh, between the storm shelter mess and the, and the truck, um, there's a big, huge dip right there, which is going to have to be filled with dirt because it still has water in the puddle right now. And even though a lot of the puddles have kind of seeped in and, and or ran off, that one's sticking around. And so we're going to have to fill some areas of ground here near around the storm shelters and that big gigantic hole over there. There's another big low spot there, but there's a big high spot. So we're gonna need to work on that high spot some more. We worked on it early, early on when we first came to the property. It was way bigger. And Lee just kept tractoring and tractoring, scraping all of that um, dirt off and we moved it to various different places. In some places we kind of made it too high because we shoveled it away from there and then didn't actually put it anywhere so it made a little mound in different places grass is growing over it so we kind of just left it be but um, we're gonna need to fix some of that stuff and um, then there's another section over way over there but still near the cottages that is not flowing anywhere it's just a big low spot and so uh, we're gonna need to do something about that as well so as we dig deeper to get the pond uh, dug deep, we will shuffle that dirt into some of these low spots and hopefully everything will go real well. And I think that we're gonna see, it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so we'll see how well we did with the rocks in front of the garage. But for this minute, <laughs> it looks great. But then everything we do looks great at the time we do it until we find out later that it wasn't so great to begin with. So anyhow, um, that's what we've done today. Not much, but something. <laughs> Stay tuned, watch another video, and you'll see if we get around to doing something else. God bless you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the homestead. Bye-bye now.